go check out Nitrux OS now. Hello there. I was checking out Nitrux web page today and I read that they want some help. They need help. They need help with artwork, development, including programming and packaging, UI design for applications, documentation and translation, marketing and website, quality assurance, including testing and bug triaging. So I was, you know, I went through this list and I don't really have too much time to deal with these specifics. I might be able to help some projects with quality assurance, but these things should be something that I use, um, you know, all the time. So in this case, I decided to self appoint myself for some marketing. This is going to be the weirdest marketing that you have ever seen on YouTube. So let me go with some um, details. Uh, so this is my second time that I'm trying Nitrux in a couple of months time. The first time was a disaster from my opinion. The software center wasn't even working uh, and my laptop was crashing on sleep. So let, let's get, let's see how it went the second time. So first what I did, I reinstalled the old version that uh, I didn't like from a couple of months ago and I wanted to see how the update system works because this is a immutable operating system so updating should be like a breeze, right? So I just wanted to feel how it updates so I can say something about it. Uh, there is a command for updating the operating system. I typed it and I waited some time and in the end it just failed. Okay, so the update didn't work as expected. Uh, I talked to the main developer, Uri. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name uh, in Croatian. I would just read it as Uri. He told me that this is fixable uh, and by fixable there, there is a procedure which is already uh, published on the website what you need to uh, take care of when you... Ba basically, the documentation is quite good uh, on their website. However, I'm having this uh, conflict in my head. From one end, uh, we have something like Arch Linux, which is like the end of this side of the spectrum. This is for people who want to have manual control over everything they do on their operating system and they expect reading a lot of manuals and documentation and doing stuff the right way. On the other spectrum, we have people that want their operating system to just work and not even realize that there is an operating system underlying there, right? So in one of the chats, uh, Mr. Uri told me that his um, or their uh, distribution lies in the very middle, like a perfectly balanced system. So, so it's not uh, on the either side of these spectrums, right? However, when I hear about immutable operating system, I, I somehow feel like, and don't get me wrong, I'm green in this field. I, I'm not an expert for immutable systems, so might, I might be totally wrong about this. And please do take this into consideration before you hear the rest of this. So in my opinion, uh, some kind of immutable system, let's, say, let's take Steam Deck. What is Steam Deck for you? For me, this is a console, not a PC. So I turn it on, and it just works. No tinkering required. You pick a game, you click download, and then you click play. This is all that this device de expects from me. And when there is an operating system update, a little exclamation mark pops up on the bot uh, on the top right end of the screen, and then I click it, and it says update is waiting for you. Do you wish to update? And I click yes. This is all I need to know and then some progress bar magically appears or something something is going on under the hood which i don't know what it is you know you know what i'm saying and then it's done and then i'm then i continue playing this is what i expect from an immutable operating system and maybe tell me if i'm expecting too much so from nitrux operating system what i got when i installed the previous when I intentionally installed the previous version of, of the operating system, I expected when I connect to the Wi-Fi that something will pop up and tell me 
there is a new version waiting for you click here to accept it and then boom I, i'm going to be on the new version that however did not happen i had to go to the website to learn which command to type to update it and then this command didn't work uh, because reasons okay reasons okay let's say something positive i installed the latest version of uh, nitrox operating system and uh, i have expected the uh, software center to be uh, fixed because it had a bug that it couldn't install applications on the previous version and indeed this is now fixed so another thing that i wanted to mention which might not be that important but uh, it's marketed as a debian based operating system but i think this is somewhat misleading i, I believe that they are uh, pulling packages from Debian system that's that's not uh, that's a no-brainer right but when you say a Debian based operating system people would expect systemd uh, and apt package manager and everything that uh, makes Debian Debian right Le let's say Linux Mint Debian edition this is a Debian based uh, operating system however Nitrux is its own thing maybe it's just pulling packages from Debian but it's not using systemd, it's not using apt package manager, at least not what you can see uh, from your user side of, of things, right? Uh, so maybe take that into consideration when people tell you it's a Debian-based uh, operating system. Yeah, it is, but not exactly. One of the other things that uh, I find weird about it is that installer, the operating system installer needs me to be connected online. I haven't asked Uri why this is, uh, and I'm maybe I should have, but I would expect from basically any Linux distribution not to need to be online uh, at the moment of basic installation. If I'm having a USB stick with one, two, three gigabytes of stuff on it, and I just want it to install and maybe take care of the online stuff and updating later. I mean, if it's immutable, then why does it need to be online? It's not like it's pulling any packages, right? So with previous version, I, I have had some other issues like um, closing down the lid of my laptop would uh, go to some weird kind of sleep from which it wouldn't be able to wake up. And if I would manage to wake it up, everything would be uh, semi-crashed with black uh, background applications wouldn't be responding. Uh, this is the same uh, in the latest version. Maybe it just uh, maybe it just doesn't like my hardware. However, this hardware really should be working with every Linux distribution, and it does work with everything else that I tried. So I don't I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the uh, custom kernel that they're using, but it's not really an excuse for not working properly with all the hardware that vanilla kernel is working with if you know what I mean. Hibernate still doesn't work, uh, at least on my uh, laptop, but I cannot judge what I haven't seen, uh, only what I did see. But don't get me wrong, I have said uh, like a lot of negative things that you may think that I'm hating this operating system. I actually like it. To be honest, I like the boldness behind this operating system. Everyone else seems to be just cloning stuff. Let's take Ubuntu, for example. Do you think Ubuntu is something original? The hell it is. It's just a clone of Debian with some stuff on top, like, like snaps, which was not even asked from the community. You know, the community didn't ask for snaps to happen. The community didn't ask for Canonical to make the previous version of Init Demon, whichever, whichever the name it was before, Systemd. Things are going on. They are trying to do some stuff behind kind of the back of the, uh, of the rest of the community and I'm not going to turn this video into an anti-canonical rant it's just that uh, some companies sometimes want to do stuff their own way and sometimes that doesn't really work very well in this case uh, I, I think Uri and his team are on the track of doing something re really good and in my personal personal humble opinion I think this distribution should be made I think this distribution should be aimed more at beginners and not necessarily beginners who doesn't even know how to use operating system. I'm just talking about people who want to have it just work. More effort should be invested into quality assurance. 
and so this is where we go back to the beginning of this video they need more artwork they need more developers they need more uh, documentation that they need more quality assurance now as I said I'm not hating on this operating system I think they have a lot of balls making stuff differently you know so th this takes a lot of effort and time investment and they need some help I would take this opportunity to ask some of you to try to make time to help them at least in testing on your own laptops on your own computers maybe a secondary computer if you can and report back to Uri and his team about you know quality assurance uh, things like ch check out stuff how it works report back uh, what doesn't work don't be angry about it if something doesn't work give them your honest opinion how you would how you have expected things to work and maybe it did not work the way you expected uh, and maybe you know when you check out their uh, github page you will see nx software center 10 contributors maui shell 7 contributors nuts system update tool 2 contributors uh, icon team uh, 21 contributors this is the top uh, of the amount of the contributors that some of their product projects have and i believe that uri is even most at home with the design uh, of things so maybe maybe this is a disproportionate amount of contributors uh, where they shouldn't be needed so so much uh, at least that's how it appears to me and maybe they they should be assigned more to some programming side of things like like uh, kernel boot utility apparently no contributors at least according to github uh, in contrast plasma desktop 272 contributors kwin window manager 393 contributors okay i understand this is a big project a lot of people using plasma things uh, but you know the numbers i told you about how many people are contributing to uh, development of nitrox operating system i think it's rather too small and i really think they should they could use some more of your help so this time I'm going to stop talking about the negatives of this operating system. I actually do really believe that this operating system has this something that could propel them into making it something, uh, you know, special. Like we have Debian, which does things this way. We have Arch Linux, which does things that way. Uh, maybe Fedora is not that much um, of a difference compared to Debian. It's I mean, it's it's a separate thing of its own, uh, but what it offers for the end user, it's relatively similar to what Debian does, except being a slightly b more bleeding edge because it updates four times uh, more frequently. So from that kind, from that part, it's uh, it's slightly different, right? Yeah. Then we have Slackware for the most hardcore people of them all. And as I said, I really do think that Nitrux has its place here among all of these uh, Linux distributions. I think we have like 200 of them, uh, which are constantly being developed more or less. But uh, I would repeat just once more, please install Nitrux operating system and give them a hand. Uh, I don't know, help them at least with one bug report and then delete it. I think they will benefit from any bug report you can submit to them and I don't know I'm gonna see you in the next video Please do take they take please do take care uh, uh, please do take this into please do take this into please do take